Hi everybody. I don't normally do product tests, but this I thought you'd find interesting. This is the Kohler Moxie, which is, I believe, the first showerhead on the market that has a Bluetooth speaker in it. So, I've unboxed it and charged it and got it configured already, but it's basically an unboxing. I don't do unboxing videos usually, they're usually kind of trite. Uh, so we're going to flip it open, and you'll notice that there is the speaker. Oh, what? There's the speaker. A little plastic to take off. we got a USB cable only for charging. And we have right here the speaker unit. As you can see, the speaker unit is a cone-shaped module, one button, has a very simple interface. It is magnetically held in place in the shower head. So this is the shower head here. As you can see, it's a single function shower head. It doesn't have any additional features. Uh, however, I think the big feature is just the fact that it has a um, speaker mounted in the middle of it. So right now we just want to test this speaker out. And to do that I've added a radio streaming app to my handy dandy iPhone. And we're going to start that up. And the first thing we're going to do is a Bluetooth pair. I've already done the Bluetooth pairing. However, um, okay the cat's going to join us. However, uh, V, okay. However, we're going to uh, first start by going into the iPhone settings and turning on Bluetooth. I don't generally leave my Bluetooth on. There it goes, and it already sees Bluetooth, Moxie, not connected. So we're going to start the Moxie up. To start the Moxie up, yes, V, thank you. Away you go. Thank you. There we go. Lay down. Good girl. Now, we start out by holding down on the translucent button here. And you hear that beep. There it is. And if we take a look at the iPhone, it is connected. So now I'm going to go into a radio streaming app and I'm just using an app provided by our local radio stations around here to pick up their radio and I'm now going to configure the app to play to Moxie which I've already done and play and it's buffering lying, cheating, stealing belligerent, out of control behavior. You're not you're not gonna put up with it. Volume mm -hmm. is controlled you by the iPhone. Volume is controlled by the wireless device. Of his behavior because you're not the type of person There is no other control on the Moxie. Uh, lights blue indicates flashing blue is on, not connected. Stable blue is on and connected. Flashing red is charging. Uh, solid red is uh, charged. And red, blue alternating means that the battery is running low. I'm going to let it play here. I'm going to pull it out for a second here. It plays in my hand. It's completely independent of the shower head. If we look at the back side, one-handed, there's this rubber cover right here. And if you remove the rubber cover and twist it down, it is connected. This is your USB charging port. And of course, you can charge it off from any USB connector. So you can charge it off from a USB connector connected to a USB power supply, 110 volt power supply, or you can charge it off from your computer. But this is not a USB interface except for charging. All interfaces to this unit are, are via Bluetooth. And this just sits magnetically into the shower head. 
I'll pull the shower head up out of its case and as you can see the shower heads upside down and it doesn't come out. I'll put this back in here in spite of the cap being here. Snap. As far as the shower head is concerned, I'll take this plastic off from it, it's a white material. It is rubberized in texture. It's actually quite nice. I'll put this back in here. The shower head actually does not, the speaker unit, excuse me, does not turn easily once it's placed inside the shower head without the uh, protective shipping cover on it. But it still removes just as easily. But this shower head, that magnet holds that unit into the shower head very easily. I'm holding it just by the magnetic connection. Pull that out. I'll put the packaging back on it. Uh, probably install it in our shower in maybe not this weekend, but in a couple weeks, and then I'll let you know. I'm inclined to believe that the unit will be much louder in the tiled environs of a stand-up shower. And I just wanted to show this with my friends and such because, well, it's not often that we buy something quite as unique as this particular unit. We got it at the Yakima Home Show, which was in the Sun Dome, oh, about a month ago now. I'm going to just lower that volume. About a month ago, we got this at the, uh, we ordered this from Inland Pipe. And it came in, oh, about a week ago, finally. They did a pre-order, and I believe we got a pretty good discount. Uh, just to let you know what we paid for it from Inland Pipe on a pre-order, I have the invoice handy. And I also have a cat handy. And the invoice was for $135, which I believe was probably about $20 less than what it retails for. I don't know the exact retail price. Now I'm just going to go about shutting it down. So back to the iPhone. And there's our app playing. I'm going to stop the app. And then once I do that, uh, in order to conserve power, I'm going to turn off Bluetooth. When I turn off Bluetooth, I think you'll notice some changes here. Bluetooth, off. And as soon as Bluetooth goes off, the Bluetooth, the blue light starts flashing on the shower head, on the Moxie. And then what I'm going to do now is turn off Moxie. It's already beeped at me, telling me it's disconnected. I'm going to hold down the power button. And you hear that long tone telling you it's off, no lights, and that's that. So this is the Kohler Moxie Bluetooth showerhead speaker. And VW indicating that she now owns it. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye.